Welcome to Epcot. We're in the World Showcase here in Italy. And where are we going to eat, Brie? We're going to Via Napoli to get some pizza. So we're gonna bring you guys inside, show you the menu, help you to decide if you are coming to Epcot, if this is a place that you'd like to get reservations for. So without further ado, let's let the, the adventure, adventure begin. begin. in Italy in Epcot's World Showcase. This particular restaurant opened in August of 2010. This is our first time going to this restaurant. We've always wanted to try it, so I was excited. As Bree said, hey, I got some reservations through the My Disney Experience app, and we came up. We had a short wait, it wasn't too long. Just a few minutes, and they brought us into Via Napoli. You can see the inside of the restaurant here. They do have a couple of large tables, so if you had a large group, you could all sit together, but a very big open area. We're gonna sit off in the back, but while we were waiting, I was watching them prepare pizzas, putting them into these really cool pizza ovens that are named after the three volcanoes in Italy. But you can see these guys have handled quite a number of pizzas because they're just throwing around the kitchen, which is always fun to watch no matter what age you are. That's always a lot of fun. So they really had a system down of getting it prepared, putting some sauce down, putting down lots of cheese and ingredients. We were getting really excited to try our first Via Napoli pizza. You can see the oven names up above. Stromboli, Vesuvio, Etna, I hope I pronounced that correctly, the names of the volcanoes in Italy. Here's the area that we sat, and as we sat, we pulled up the menu and Brie has a better Italian background than me, so she's gonna describe what's on the menu. <laughs> okay, so they have some small plates like mozzarella caprese, which is mozzarella and tomatoes and garlic focaccia bread and some calamari, arancini. Ooh, we should have tried those. We'll have to get those next time. I love calamari. Next time we'll have to order that for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And they also have some salads. You can get Caesar or house salad. We're about to order the house salad. It says two people minimum. So it's really like $18 for a house salad to share. Yes, because it comes out family style. And they also have some pastas. You've got your ravioli, tortellini, spaghetti, manicotti, and of course your fettuccine. And these range from $27 to $30 a plate. They also have some other options. If you're not really wanting pasta, you can get a filet or some sea bass or a traditional chicken parmesan, although that does come with spaghetti. And a couple of sides here, green beans and fingerling potatoes. They also have a number of specialty pizzas that you can choose from, and you can see there's some really fun ingredients if you wanna try something different. I have been told their white pizzas are quite amazing. We'll have to come back and try a white pizza. There is one pizza I don't see on here, and that would be a Hawaiian. I don't see any pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> but if you've ever had one of their specialty pizzas, let us know in the comments which one should we try next time we come back. Especially if it's one of the $50 pizzas. Let me know it's good before I uh, <laughs> spend $54 on a pizza. It better be good for $54. Or 55 Or 55 <laughs> Next, they have what we are going to get, which is the margarita Wait, pizza. Wait, I thought you get a margarita in Mexico. Are we in the wrong country? <laughs> Different kind of margarita. All right, what size are we going to get? A 10 inch or a 20 inch? We are going with the 20 inch, although you can get the half meter, but we're gonna go with the 20 inch. I think that'll be good for our family. Sounds good. Let's take a look at the kids menu. We've got the... Uh, Boca... Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try that one. Bocconcini, which is basically little mozzarella bites <laughs> fried. And then they can either get chicken tenders, spaghetti, or a pizza for right around $11. Last but not least, desserts. Yes, you can't go to an Italian restaurant and not get dessert. So they have panna cotta, cannoli, torta della nona, which 
it looks pretty good a cake with some cream and other things tiramisu which is what we tried a berry cheesecake and of course gelato and sorbet kids can also get some italian donuts for eight dollars or a sorbet for six dollars so our food finally arrived, it didn't take too long. We took a moment to thank God for our food and these weren't actually on the menu, were they, Brie? No, but I just asked if they had fried cheese sticks for you know adults, not on the kids menu, and they did. And they were super, super cheesy. Everyone enjoyed <laughs> these all the way down to the last bite. They were very good. And then our salad came. This is the house salad that they serve family style. Remember, you have to get at least enough for two people, so $18, but you can get it larger if you have a larger group. It was a very fresh salad that everyone at the table enjoyed. The only downside is it was a little light on the salad dressing. Yeah, so we asked for some more and they gladly brought it to us. Along with the salad, they brought us some Parmesan cheese and red pepper flakes. Shaped like a Mickey, of course, because everything tastes better shaped like a Mickey. And one of the kids got a spaghetti, which was $11. It was very much enjoyed all the way down to the last bite, not a single complaint. So we all enjoyed the salad, the spaghetti and meatball, and then finally what we were here for arrived, the pizza. <laughs> So we ended up with a 20 inch, as we said earlier, and it was plenty between all of us at the table. It was fresh out of the oven. It was really good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yes, it came out piping hot. So the only thing we did have a little trouble with was I think they could have cut it a little better for us in some parts. We had a little bit of trouble getting the pieces off. So overall, out of 10, what number would you rate this pizza? I would give this pizza a solid 7. It had good flavor, the cheese was gooey, it was a little hard to cut and soft in the middle, so I think seven's about right. Yeah, it was a great pizza at the end of the day, walking around Epcot to give us some fuel. And then finally, dessert arrived. At your request, you wanted to try the tiramisu? That, yes, and this was actually my favorite thing of the whole meal. This was excellent tiramisu. The kids helped me devour it, and we really enjoyed it. I'm not a big fan of tiramisu, but I could tell that everyone was enjoying it. That's going to wrap up our look at Via Napoli in Walt Disney World's Epcot. I would recommend going. It's a reasonably priced unless you get the $55 pizza. And it seems to be a good amount of food for your family. So let us know in the comments, have you ever been here? What's your favorite thing on the menu that other people should try so everyone can benefit in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe button down below. They're both great ways to support our efforts to bring you more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.